hello and welcome to this getting started with AX tutorial. The video will last about four minutes and you will be introduced to some of the basic methods of navigating within AX Rich Client. We will take a look at the AX window, the address bar, the file menu, the navigation pane and the contents pane. We will also look at working with multiple companies. AX opens as a window that can be moved about the screen. Left click and hold the title bar to drag it around the screen. You can maximize, restore, resize and minimize the window. Click maximize to view the full window. Role centers are default home pages that provide you with an overview of information that is relevant to your role, activities, frequently used links and key business reports. The address bar indicates which part of the AX system you're in by showing the company, module and screens. To see and go to other available areas, click the downward triangle and select the module or area. You can navigate using the back and forward buttons provided to visit screens you have visited earlier. From the file menu, you can customize how the application behaves and looks using the view menu, organize your favorites and access useful tools. Here you can see a number of tools, including quick access to the telephone list or the calculator, and the option to change the company you are working in. Even more settings are available using the Tools Options screen, if you have permitted access. Before we explore the navigation pane, let's examine companies in AX. If you have each company or legal entity in your organisation connected in AX, then you can produce accounts and reports for either an individual company or for all companies at a global level. When you log onto AX, you will be working in your default company. This is displayed in the address bar, the status bar and the title bar of any form. As you perform your daily activities, these will be recorded in the company you are working in. To change company, use the address bar, the status bar or the file menu. You can only access companies that you need to. For example, a group controller may have access to all companies, while a local assistant may only see one. The navigation pane provides access to the main screens and modules in AX. A module is an area of functionality within AX. Generally, they represent typical departments in a business. We can choose a module to display the items available. Here, the Accounts Payable module has been selected. The various screens and functions available can be accessed using the Contents pane on the right or above the modules in the Navigation pane. The content pane will display the role center if the home module is selected, module area pages, or list pages. Let me return to the accounts payable area page. Each module in AX has an area page. You can see the page split into groups. Within each group or subgroup menu, you can access the screens and functions required to complete your daily AX activities, such as entering purchase orders or processing invoices. Under Common, you can access lists of records and complete associated tasks. For example, in Accounts Payable, you can view the vendor's list page and from here create a new vendor. Journals are used to enter and post transaction data. For example, in Accounts Payable, you can process invoices and payments. Using Inquiries, you can look up information. From Reports, you can generate business reports such as a vendor account statement. Periodic is used to access processes like month end or currency re-evaluations, or can be used to process multiple transactions at once. Setup allows configuration of data within the selected module. Typically, your system administrator will only allow access to the modules, groups and screens that you need to complete your work. The status bar appears at the bottom of the screen and shows information such as the currency and the company you are connected to. That is all for the Getting Started module. You are ready to look at working with AX screens, which is the next video in the series.